today I'm going to show you how to change out your wired in doorbell transformer. And let's get started. So I am going to turn off the power is the first thing that you want to do is turn off the breaker. Or if there's a plug, happens to be a plug, unplug it. Then you want to simply just loosen the screws on this box, take off the cover, and here are our wires. So we're going to have a ground wire, uh, hot wire, or line, whichever you want to call it, and your uh, common wire. So the power's off, and we're just going to undo the wire nuts. Now, if the power was on, you'd have to be super careful not to touch any of these. And so you definitely want to turn the power off. So now that we have our wires uh, undone from the wire nuts, there's a retaining nut. Let me see if I can get it in closer. Right here that we want to turn. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that so that we can, this is basically what's holding the transformer in place. So there it is. We are going to also want to undo the screws. I should have done this first before I took it out, but you'll remember to do that part first. <laughs> undo the two wires and then pull it out. So here's our, so you want to make sure you get one of these kind of transformers where it has the threads and then this little retaining nut. There are other kinds of transformers that don't have those and this isn't the kind you want. Uh, I know at Home Depot they have uh, both kinds and this is definitely the one you want to get. They have a multi-tap. So I assume that a lot of you are changing this out because of the Ring video doorbell. And basically you want a 24 volt uh, transformer. Now I'm not actually changing this one out because it, it's brand new and I am doing it on a Ring video doorbell lab I'm doing right here where I've got the Ring set up and putting it through a whole bunch of different tests. Anyways, I'm going to insert the transformer again, tighten this retaining nut so it's good and tight. Then I'm going to go ahead and hook back up the wires. Doesn't matter which one you put it on because it's low voltage AC and it'll work on either one. So let's tighten that up. Sorry if I just knocked the camera. Tighten up the other one. Now we're gonna hurry up and put the wire nuts on. So green is ground. Uh, depending on how old your house is, this may not be grounded, the transformer. But it goes to the bare copper wire. That's good and tight. Make sure the wire can't pull out. If you can pull them out, redo it again and check it. Now we're gonna hook up the black, which is, and the power's off, so it's not shocking me. So we're gonna hook up the black, which is the line, or you can call it the hot. Now let's hook up the common wire, which is white. I didn't do that all the way. Let me do that again. Make sure it grabs and then we'll pull on it. I don't know if I pulled on the black one I did. So that, that's it. We're done. Let's put the cover back on. If you put it on this way, it's a little easier. 
tighten down the screws in the cover. And we are finished. So if you have a Ring Video Doorbell Pro and you need a 24 volt transformer, which I recommend if you've got the Pro, then th this is what you want to change out. Um, it could be in various different places, like it could be on your electrical panel on the bottom of it or top, uh, or it could be, depending on the age of your house, it could be up in a, a light socket up on the ceiling. You could see it up there and it's just a plug-in transformer like this, or not plug-in, excuse me, screw-in, wired in. <laughs> can't talk sorry and um, that's basically it thanks for watching